So I have a question for you. Do you satisfy your sweet craving with artificial sweeteners? Do you use a little bit of the blue packet or the yellow packet or the pink packet? If so, you might be surprised to learn that those artificial products might actually be promoting weight gain and keeping you from your goal. So today's Motivational Monday, we're discussing all about artificial sweeteners and the impact they're having on you. Hey everybody and welcome to Motivational Monday where you can learn how simple shifts in your habits can lead to profound results in the way that you feel and in the way that you look. So like I said, today we're discussing artificial sweeteners and I have a personal history with artificial sweeteners that is not very flattering, okay? So I like to joke that I came out of the womb looking for diet tips. If it promised results, I wanted in. I started drinking tab at a very early age and I used sweet and low and all the rest. And it got to the point that a friend of mine once said to me, you know, if I never remember anything else about you, I'll remember that you always had a can of diet soda in your hand which is not exactly the legacy I was hoping for. So beyond that, I kept, I kept drinking it because even though she said that, I was like, okay, very funny, and I kept drinking it until I developed really bad migraine headaches when I was in pharmacy school. And it wasn't just because I hated pharmacy school, it was also because I was drinking all of this crap all the time. When I cut them out, those headaches went away. But what I didn't realize is that those the artificial sweeteners that I thought were keeping me under my weight under control were actually promoting weight gain and slowing down metabolism and increasing my cravings for sugar. So today I'm gonna to explain to you all about artificial sweeteners. So whether it's saccharin or aspartame or sucralose, which is the most recent one, all of these artificial sweeteners are obviously very, very sweet and they fool us or they pretend to give us what we want when we're trying to not eat sugar, okay? But here's the rub. When you have an artificial sweetener, that sweetener is 600 times sweeter than sugar. Think about that, 600 times sweeter than sugar. So what do you think happens every time you have it? It creates a taste preference. It actually makes you want more of the same. So it increases your cravings for sugar. Whenever I have a client that really holds on for dear life to her artificial sweetener or her diet soda, thinking that she cannot avoid sugar without it, what I always say to them, try. And every single time they come back and they say, you know what, my sugar cravings are dramatically diminished. And I said, of course, because it's the artificial sweetener. It fools your body into thinking that sugar is there and it just wants more of it. So the very first thing that it does, which is negative, is it increases your cravings for actually real sugar. So that is one bad thing and you want to avoid it for that alone. The second way that artificial sweeteners might be keeping you from your weight goals is that when you consume them, they set up a similar metabolic response in your body as though you just consumed sugar. So when you take them in, your body still secretes insulin, certain things happen in your body which can promote weight gain, particularly in the midsection. A recent research study showed that people who use artificial sweeteners have about five pounds more belly fat than people who don't. So if you're trying to get rid of that belly, artificial sweeteners is not the way to go. In addition, having artificial sweeteners have been shown to increase the incidence of diabetes and metabolic syndrome, two syndromes that are so closely associated with the consumption of sugar and refined carbohydrates, which corroborates this idea that having artificial sweeteners sets up a similar metabolic response as sugar, and it also increases the incidence of heart disease. If that were not enough, there's lots of studies that show that artificial sweeteners can disrupt your neuro neurological system and, and can lead to things like migraines, as would happen to me, simple headaches, anxiety, mood disorders, Parkinson's disease. So if you struggle with any kind of neurological disorder, the first thing you want to do is eliminate all artificial sweeteners from your diet to see if that, how much of an impact that is having on your body. But as you see, it goes beyond its impact on your weight and it goes beyond your desire to want to lose weight. Consuming these chemicals can actually be very detrimental to your health. So what do you do? So what, here's what I tell my clients. When somebody is using three packets of the pink stuff in their coffee, they're not drinking coffee. They're drinking something that's incredibly sweet and using coffee as a vehicle to get into their system. The way we need to imagine or approach sugar in our diet, because this essentially becomes a sugar issue, right? What we're trying to get from these artificial sweeteners is the same feeling we get or the same taste mouth mouth feel or taste that we get from actually consuming sugar and as a country we are absolutely addicted to sugar just look around it's everywhere you everywhere you go it's everything that you eat 
So what you need to first look at is your relationship to actual sugar because that's the place to start making change. If you use lots of sugar or lots of artificial sweetener in your, in your beverages or you drink a lot of soda or a lot of diet soda, then you want to start making the change there because what you want to get used to is tasting things in their natural state. So when you drink a cup of coffee and you need a tiny little bit of a sweetener to take the edge off of the bitterness, that's one thing. But throwing five tablespoons of sugar in there or three packets of an artificial sweetener, it's heavy handed sweetness. It's not the coffee anymore, it's just the sweetness that you're going after. So if you really love coffee, then start cutting down the amount of sweetener that you use. Forget about artificial sweeteners altogether and use things like coconut, uh, palm sugar, use raw honey, use grated bee maple syrup in the smallest amounts so that you can just take the bitterness out of the beverage and just get used to what it tastes like on its own and then use natural sources of sugar that don't have a huge glycemic response and that is what you really want to start doing when it comes to any kind of sweetness uh, sweetener in your food or in your beverages. In addition to that, if you drink lots of diet soda, it is so bad for you on so many levels. Forget about the weight gain. It can debilitate your bones and lead to osteoporosis. Like I said, it can, the neurological disorders. So start drinking sparkling water. Throw a little bit of blueberry juice in there to give it flavor. Throw some lime in there to give it enhanced flavor. All that's good for you, plus you're getting all that hydration. So start to first assess your relationship to sugar. Cut out the artificial sweeteners because they are absolutely not good for you and then start to reduce the amount that you're taking in. That is going to help you so much across the board, not only with your weight, it's going to help you with your mood, with your mind, with your health, across the board. So here's another thing about reducing your sugar intake. Let's say you love sugar and you eat loads of it and you can't imagine your life without it. Start reducing. Start really cutting down and I guarantee you that there will come a day not too far ahead in the future that you're going to taste something sweet that you were so used to eating before and you're going to think, ew, that tastes way too sweet because your taste buds change. When you're used to eating lots of sugar or artificial sweeteners, you're definitely affecting your taste buds and you're creating this propensity towards more sweetness. But cut that stuff out for a while, clean off your taste buds by doing so and you will see that you're, you're you're going to have a little more scent, you're going to be more sensitive to sugar and not need so much and the things that you now find delicious might be way too much for you down the road. So that is the lowdown on artificial sweeteners and now I want to hear from you. Have you ever had a problem with an artificial sweetener and by cutting it out you saw an improvement in, in any of your symptoms, whether that symptom was a neurological problem like migraines or anxiety or whether it was something like a diabetic related situation? I want to hear your comments below. Also, if you're a person that's reduced or cut out sugar from your diet only to find out that when you went back to sugar it was way too sweet for you, make your comments because people need to hear that. They need to hear from people other than me. So if you had that experience, please come over to BarbaraMendezNutrition.com and comment there. If you're watching on YouTube, please click on the link below and it'll bring you right over to the blog. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and today was an important video because a lot of people still use that stuff thinking that it's helping them and it's not only not helping them, it might actually be hurting them them. So if you like videos like this and you want more of them, come on over to BarbaraMendezNutrition.com and you can sign up for the mailing list there. Once you do, you will automatically receive an email from me every Monday with a written or a video blog with some suggestions such as this or a recipe or an inspirational tip to help move you along towards your goals. If you'd like, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter and if you know anybody that uses a lot of artificial sweeteners, please forward this video to them because it's important information that they might not be aware of. Thanks so much everybody. I hope you have an awesome Monday and a great week and I will see you next time.